What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about nine value cards that I think can help either spruce up your side deck or your main deck. I find these to be very fairly flexible and also they're cheap because they're SR under. So even if you get a dud 10 roll, you should be able to get something started. Um, these are not gonna be the only high value, low rarity cards in the game. So if you have personal favorites or cards that you like using, please put them in the comments below because I'm pretty sure I missed dozens of very good cards. Um, and of course, you can just skip around to whichever cards you want to look at. Um, but if you do skip around, make sure you leave a like, comment, and or subscribe to the channel as it does help uh, other people find the video. Without further ado, let's begin. So first, we're going to talk about DD Crow. Um, simply put, it is your budget version of the Called by Grave, but not because um, this is just really good at getting rid of floaters out of the graveyard and banishing them. Um, while Called by Grave can do that, it also negates. So Called by Grave is a little bit more flexible. If you do end up getting the mats, I would recommend that in most cases Called by Grave will be the better card and the more flexible card, but DD Crow does have its uses. Next, we're going to talk about Droll and Lockbird. Now, Droll is not as flexible as Maxi or Ash Blossom, but what it does do is stop uh, very popular decks like Tri Brigades, uh, Drytrons, and just any deck that likes to add cards from deck to hand, it's just going to stop them. They can't get their combo off. They're going to feel bad, and you're going to feel pretty good because you get to play the game. Um, and it's SR2, so maybe you don't have the Maxis or you're missing some hand traps. I think this is a great replacement as it's a little bit cheaper, and it's quite effective against most of the popular decks right now. We have a Psyframe Gear Gamma, which is a great extender piece. Um, so when they activate effects, um, you can quick effect uh, summon this and then you can also get your Psyframe driver um, and so basically you can set up for like really cool link plays um, just really try to get a board or at least something set up um, so really good for decks that really rely on their normal summon or decks that just really like having an extender for combos we have Lancia now there's a lot of artifacts Scythe is the UR one in this game and it's pretty good as well but um, if you're not getting Scythe, Lancia is probably your next best one as it's going to stop your opponent from banishing cards. This can stop them from turning off your hand traps um, and a couple other things. Overall, just a great card, mainly used in the side deck more than a main deck piece, but it's there. Next, we will be talking about Radian. Now, this is just my placeholder for any Kaiju. Um, you Basically, this is just going to be used to get over negates. Um, also, another really good side deck piece. Um, so you can just tribute over Herald of Ultimateness or other cards that you just don't want to deal with or interact with. And then your opponent's just forced to sit there with this Kaiju, which is much easier to pop and get rid of than, say, like a Herald of Ultimateness or some big negate piece or some big boss monster. About Forbidden Chalice. Um, basically, you target one face-up monster on the field and it gets negated, but that monster gains plus 400 attack down in decks like Sky Strikers where you run less monsters um, or like in budget tri you're going to see this. Now, if you do have the extra UR mats, you could go for Forbidden Droplet, which is just in its own league when you compare it to Chalice. Chalice can only target one card and it gets bigger. Um, for a discard per target, your Droplet not only cannot be negated, so things like Herald can't stop it or other big negates right now, but also it has the added bonus of halving your opponent's attacks on the board for the cards you do target. So it can help you get over really big monsters that your deck otherwise would struggle with, um, like 3K beaters or 4K beaters, stuff like that. They're Mystical Space Typhoons. So a lot of people, they get their Mystical Space Typhoons from the Synchro deck, but if you did not, or you didn't craft it, you could always come back and craft these. If your deck does set up using Graveyard, which a lot of popular decks do, you want something in the Graveyard to get yourself started. You could use Twin Twister as a way to get yourself set up. And it also targets two things on board. Um, so um, just having back removal of some sort is really nice. Um, there's also the, um, or there's also Harpy's Feather Duster, which is good at just wiping your opponent's board while you still maintain your back row if you have the UR mats for that. Or you could go for the very Chad lightning storm and you can even up this um but we do get one for free at least and what i like about lightning storm is it's flexible it kind of does the work of both raigeki and harpy's feather duster um with a condition but it's just a lot more flexible so i do like this one too and a lot of players um are actually playing a lot more than one account of this in their decks to clear back row and monsters um next we're going to talk about torrential tribute and i guess we could extend this to just cheaper floodgate back row kind of things 
Um, not everyone likes back row, but when your deck is slow or relies on a normal summon, having that extra protection can be the difference between you losing a game and you winning a game. Um, so things like Torrential Tribute or uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device, which is going to send cards back to the hand, it's just a great way to um, keep your life points healthy and give you a chance to play the game. It especially hurts when you get Ash Blossomed or um, Effect Failure, or they just kind of stop your combo halfway. So that's what that's there for. And finally, we have Solemn Warning. So there's a lot of Solemn cards. Um, let's go ahead and take a look to see what we have. Um, we have Judgment. A lot of people are familiar with this. It's very iconic. It's very good too. Um, there's also Solemn Strike, which um, can stop the special summon a monster. Um, and you only pay 1500. Um, so these are both really high value cards, but they're also URs. And sometimes we can't afford those. So we have a Solemn Warning, which is basically going to stop a monster summon when effect would activate to summon a monster. This is just a great way to get around decks that like to extend using effects or using back row. Um, and it's SR too, so it's a lot cheaper than your Solemn Strike or your extra copies of Solemn Judgment. Um, and so until you get those other cards, you can kind of just play this. Um, with that being said though, this is my nine high value cards that are low rarity. Uh, of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, these aren't the only nine, and not all of these cards are going to be able to fit in every single deck. So if you have personal favorites or things you run in your decks to dominate the meta, please let us know in the comments below as it helps the community and helps us build a discussion. With that, uh, this is Kakorn and TCG signing off. Peace.